Welcome to a day in my life. Make sure to like and subscribe. since I brought you a day in my life in Paris um, so figured I'd bring you one today because I do have a few things to do so for one I did get a co-working space in Paris which I'm sure you guys have seen on my Instagram if you guys follow me on Instagram and I'm absolutely obsessed because it really helps me break up my day um, because I was I don't know for some reason it was like just sitting in my house all day every day trying to get work done was just not working like I was getting lazy I was getting distracted like it just wasn't working so I'm so excited that I now have a co-working space to go to so I'm going to my co-working space today so I will bring you guys along with me so you can check it out and see where I'm working now um, so that should be fun um, I also have a podcast interview later today and I really wanted to get to the park today because it's gonna be super nice it's gonna be like 65 degrees today the Sun is coming out so I really wanted to try and get to a park or something but I mean it's already 11 right now I do not know if I'll have to Time to do that so fingers crossed um, but yeah I just want to show you guys some Paris I know that it's been a while since I've done a day in the life but oh my gosh guys um, the new lockdown measures in Paris so I'm sure that you guys have heard or like seen on the news or seen on Instagram or whatnot um, that we did go into another partial lockdown in Paris which basically means I mean I'm not sure if I fully understand it all um, and again this is not a news channel so please do your research so before we were on a curfew um, so we basically had to be inside by six and now with this partial lockdown um, our curfew is now extended an hour to 7 p.m. so now we have to be in by 7 p.m. and another thing is we can't go past 10 kilometers from our home which I think is about six miles what I'm understanding is that we just can't really leave Paris which I mean fine I'm so glad that my co-working space is still open because it's classified as an essential business so thank God because I need somewhere to go so that's a quick update on Paris before I head out for the day um, but also before I head out I wanted to shout out the sponsor of today's video which is Nord Green. Um, so Nord Green is a Scandinavian minimalist watch brand and I'm actually going to do a little unboxing for you guys and I really want to start introducing you guys to more European brands and European brands that I'm really excited about and that are doing really cool things so let's get into this unboxing. So I got the native watch with a black vegan leather strap um, with a black dial which I really love and I was so excited about this in the rose gold detail and then you can also get a second strap for the watch so I got a rose gold mesh strap so you can switch up the straps, which I thought was really cool. And then all of their watches are ethically made, um, sustainable and eco-friendly packaging. And one thing that I also really love is the fact that they have this give back program and they're focusing on three major initiatives right now. So one is to provide clean water to the Central African Republic. And then another is to provide education to children in India. Another is to protect the rainforest Latin America. So I also really love the initiatives that this brand is supporting. But um, yeah, I was so excited about this brand and I love that I could get a vegan leather strap. I thought that was super cool too. Um, so thank you Nord Green so much for sponsoring this video. And if you guys are interested in purchasing a watch from Nord Green, I do have a link in my description box along with the discount code for you guys to get a percentage off your purchase. So now let's get going. I need to pack my lunch. I need to pack my bag. I need to just get ready to go um, because it's our, it's what now like 11:30 ish. Yeah, we got to go. And I'm actually really proud of myself for now um, packing my lunch. So I have this little container, this little glass container. And last night I made some turkey with spinach, quinoa, and cauliflower. So I'm bringing this for lunch today. Whenever I'm getting ready to leave to, I guess, go to work, I always feel like I'm a kid about to go to school. Like I have my backpack, so I'm like putting everything in my backpack. All right, so I got my lunch. Well, actually, no, let me put my computer in first. My lunch. In my jacket. Oh, you guys, I cannot wait until we do not need to wear masks anymore and the world is safe again because I am highly over it and also my lipstick always smudges but i have a matte lipstick on today so i'm hoping it's um i'm hoping it's not too bad but let's see and this is my look today excuse my mess i feel like things are everywhere right now but again just in a sweatsuit 
This one I think I got from Zara. Um, but y'all, I have been living in these sweatsuits. Listen, sweatsuits and sneakers are my jam with my little Nike socks. Bam. Oh, you can't even see them. <laughs> wait, wait, wait for it. Bam! Oh my gosh, I had to look everywhere for these socks in Paris because they were literally sold out everywhere, everywhere. But I finally found them. Really excited about my Nike socks. But okay, let me get ready. Let me get myself together so that we can leave because it's getting a little late and I got a lot to do. What it do, what it does, where you been, where you was, but it ain't what it is. Facing the mud, y'all really be hating the mud, said I can't pick it up, but I did. Y'all know goon put too much bass in the sub, cup full of blood, and I gave it a chug. Wait till your neighbors get all snug, and play this real loud where you live. This, that, for the kids, some, some strength, can't say what it is. Your kids came, ain't say what he did. Make shit move, put a chain on the gear, yeah. I've been on top of the tower, got the power, with the man, gun cock in his pocket, shower. Put you down with the squids, that's rock the power. I done hang with the guys and we talk for hours, yo. Oops, also, I gotta put this mask on. All right, let's do this. Get out here and work like they kidnapped your family. Bitch, get out here and work like they kidnapped your family. Who they had trying to say that they put it? It is actually so nice out today. I really don't even think I need this jacket, but. <laughs> so nice out. I'm so happy that the sun is out. It's been raining like crazy for the past few days, so. <sighs> Spring is here. But listen, your girl is exercising some serious self control because I just walked past a bakery and I really wanted to get a croissant, but I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <sighs> I'm trying, y'all. Not that like eating pastries is bad, but like I just went OD with it and was like literally eating a croissant every day, a crepe every day. So I was like, girl, you need to slow down. So I'm trying, but it's not right. Speeding head hanging out the car, driving down the street with no regard. Where I'm going, I do not recall. My teachers always said that I'm bizarre Like a ring, I keep my circle small We back and forth, I'm Rafael on the doll I ain't really worried, not at all You either eat your words or you evolve Okay, yeah, it's actually really hot So I'm gonna take this jacket off I don't know if I can do it with one hand One hand, show me, can I do it? Oh, it's so hot Honestly, I knew that this was gonna happen And I knew that I was gonna be annoyed If I had to carry my jacket around But, c'est la vie weather just make you feel good like I feel so good right now so many people are outside so it's like lockdown wear um, but now I'm just on my way to the co-working space and they have a really nice balcony so if it's not too crowded um, on the balcony I'll take you guys up there and show you because it's so nice but I do also really have to get work done so let's get it started I don't know if you guys do this but me and my friend like we literally sing everything like we sing like the most random words so if you guys hear me singing Y'all know that I'm just getting a little more comfortable with y'all and the real tip is coming out. Not that I wasn't showing the real tip before, but y'all know what I mean. Made it to my co-working space, got my lunch in the fridge, got my water. 
got my little desk set up um but oh my gosh guys i really do love this space i really just love having somewhere to go i'm telling you it just really helps to um break up the day for real also kind of awkward because i know these people are like walking by like what is this girl doing talking into her camera <laughs> But um, I do really want to take you guys up to the balcony. I was just up there and it's a little crowded right now. So I'm going to try and take you guys up there a little bit later. Because the view is amazing from the terrace. It's so nice. So yeah, just going to sit here and get some work done. I'm actually working on editing the video that I'm filming right now. Playing no games with this editing process. Just trying to get it out and done. Um, and actually, I can show you guys a little bit of what uh, the space looks like here where I'm sitting. Look, I just think it's so cute in here. Like, I love it. So this is kind of like an area where people eat lunch and then back is the kitchen. Um, it's just so nice. So yeah, let me just get some editing done and then I'm gonna see if I can take you guys up to the balcony. Wake up in the morning, cut the TV on the scene, line again. Put you in the car for slap you in your office, then leave with all of your pins. I ain't giving nothing bad, Lord to the pad, pennies being dry, money getting stashed, snakes in the grass, too many rats. This up and down, it's hard being black. Really, I be calling out my enemies. Never let a hater finish me. You know this ain't no charity. Only thing we giving out is energy. Rally back. Okay, now I'm gonna try and take you guys up to the balcony. Let's go, let's go. Ah, oh, fingers crossed there aren't too many people up there. I kind of really want to show guys. Let's see. Okay, so I made it to the balcony. I feel like I have to whisper because I'm very well aware of how loud I am. But look at the view, you can see Sacre Coeur right from here. So you can see Sacre Coeur right there. So this is the balcony on the 8th floor and I was literally shocked that they had found a place so big in Paris for a co-working space. So there are 8 floors in this building which is literally insane. Most co-working spaces in Paris are really, really small. Um, so yeah, I love it here. I really do. Why you wanna get on my bad side? Why you wanna see me be the bad guy? Wanna see me do mad crime? Grind get flat line. I've been on since diapers. About to go DC sniper. Alright, so I booked a room uh, to do the podcast interview and I'm literally running behind. I just got in this room. So let me put this down. Roddy Piper. 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 Now I'm feeling really rowdy like I'm Roddy Piper. Hey! Sorry I'm a little late. I had to wait until someone left this room so that I could come in. And I'm like recording a day in the life too, so you guys might kind of be in my day in the life today if you don't mind. Oh my God, hello. Yeah, let me hold on, let me show. I feel so creepy because I know all of this. <laughs> So I'm filming a podcast with Elizabeth and Ashley. So say hey guys. Hello. <laughs> I feel famous. <laughs> this is my God flow, you money pronto. Make me a honcho. Challenge me, I go super saying God mode. Benevolent, I'm in my element. My lady look like Maleficent. I get no fuss like I'm celibate. I don't like people, don't even trust relatives. Done and done with the podcast. Thank you, Liz and Ashley. That was so much fun. Oh my gosh, it is actually really hot in here. Um, but I have this room booked for another hour or so, so I'm just gonna get some more work done and then maybe head out for the day um, since uh, we got that 7 p.m. curfew, so. Follow your heart, love what you got, don't look at the deficit. Don't get ahead of yourself. I pull out the weapon, I call it the sedative. Pull it out, roll that weed. Thought good last week. Test when I'm seized, I'm jumping off stage like Assassin's Creed. A very productive day today, so I am about to head home. There's literally no one in this common room area right now, so I figured I'd show you guys around real quick while I can, because it's just so cute here. Okay, let's do it real quick. Right here is where I just set up my little workstation, and then you have all of this common area here, which is really cool. And I love that they have all of these little bunks, you know, so you can just uh, chill out by yourself. But I just love this space here. It's just so open and it just feels so good working in a space like this with plants and light and I don't know, it just feels really good and it gets me in the mindset to work, you know? Um, and they also have these really cute like telephone booths. If you have to make a phone call, you can just go in one of those. And this is the kitchen that I was in earlier and they're super good about like sanitizing everything. But as you can see, like literally no one is in here. But this space is usually where a lot of people have lunch or just chill out. See my little works workstation in the back. They have like a fully equipped kitchen. Um, and usually I 
bring my lunch and put it in the fridge every day, which is really cool. And they have microwaves so you can heat up everything that you need, like heat up your lunch and stuff. So yeah, that's just a little tour of where I've been hanging out and getting my work done these days. Um, it's just again, a really nice place to work out of. So I highly recommend, you know, if you are an entrepreneur and you just need, you know, to breathe life into your business or you need some motivation, I mean, getting a co-working space changed the game for me. You know, I'm able to focus more and whatnot. I know sometimes they can be a little bit pricey, but for me, I needed to do something that would give me a productivity boost and this definitely did it for me. Yeah, guys, literally no one even came around this space the whole time that I was um, just filming right now. Like, it's crazy. Um, I feel super safe here, honestly. Like, they have all the disinfectant products. Um, you know, whenever you're around people, you're supposed to wear a mask. Um, so yeah, I feel really safe here. And usually I have like floors to myself. Um, so it's usually, I mean, only me, unless it's lunchtime. Like usually around lunchtime, the common areas fill up a little bit, but it's been good. It's been good. Um, but now it's, Jesus, it's already like 6.30 and I have to be home by 7 for the curfew, so I might as well just head out right now. day today if I do say so myself I am headed to the train to head back home uh, I really need the weather in Paris to stay like this for a hot minute because I will be so upset if we go back to all that rain but also it's like so hard to like have to go home by 7 I mean I'm grateful that it's not 6 anymore and that we have an extra hour but still I'm just like oh I just want to be out I just want to be out in Paris can't wait for the restaurants to open back up again Y'all know I love a good brunch. I cannot wait to do my brunches again in Paris. And also for any of you guys who are living in Paris or are planning to visit Paris, I really do want to do some meetups with you guys for sure. So I'll keep you posted on that once things are safer here. But I just want to be back out exploring the city. It's so hard, guys. It's so hard. I also love that when it's nice out, everyone goes and sits right there on those steps. I don't know if you guys can see them over there. It's just so nice. I want to go sit on the steps. <laughs> I guess I could have today, but I got a late start to the day, so maybe next time. I have to say, I have a complaint, and I don't think it's a Parisian or French thing, I think it's like a city thing, because this used to happen to me in New York too, like when you're walking and someone could literally see you and just expect you to move, like they won't move, or people walking up like so close behind you. Have any of you guys ever experienced this, living in a major city, living in Paris, living in New York City, let me know, because it drives me crazy, it drives me crazy. Actually, a funny story for you guys, when I was living in New York City, I was walking down the street, this guy was, oh, there's a fly. So I was living in New York City, this guy, I was walking, this guy was walking towards me, and I even moved a little bit, but he like would not move, and he ended up walking right into me, and I went flying into a, um, like a metal, what is it called? I literally went flying into like this, like the metal gate that's like in front of a driveway, you know those things they have in New York? I went flying. I went flying into one of those. 
because the man like refused to move and I was like I'm not gonna move then and he literally rammed into me like, honestly it was crazy but yeah anyways stuff like that really pisses me off when people just like don't budge don't move they see you walking right in front of you and they won't move or they expect you to move it drives me crazy or when people are literally like right up against me like it's so funny because sometimes I'll literally be filming like how I am now and someone will literally be like right behind me in the camera like why are you so close that's another thing that I cannot stand Whew, I'm sorry I just had to vent for a second home sweet home I'm so proud of myself for today I got a lot of work done I have to say and now it's time for me to have my guilty pleasure oh I think I already put it out my gelato Guys, I am obsessed with this gelato from Amarino. Um, it's a really good spot for gelato out here. Although, a few of you guys have given me other recommendations. I honestly can't remember off the top of my head what those places are. So if you could um, comment them below, I would love that. And I literally order a carton of this, like, at least once a month. Like, that's how good it is. Yum! I'm so excited! Now let me tell you, I go all out. I even get cones and everything. Where are my cones? I like always have cones. I think I have two things of them. Yeah, oh my gosh. I feel I always have ice cream cones in my apartment. You know, because sometimes you just gotta treat yourself. I had a very productive day today. I am so proud of myself. And now I'm about to go in on this ice cream or gelato. All right, so I got my gelato and actually my camera is literally about to die. So thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you are interested in purchasing a watch from Nord Green, the link is in my description box along with the discount code for you to get a percentage off your purchase. Thanks again guys for watching and I'll see you next week.